All right, I just got done uh, bleeding the hydraulic system for my clutch. Um, I did that because whenever I would try to push my clutch in, well, usually, you know, you have this little wiggle room right here, and then, you know, you start feeling it. Oh, well, I had a wiggle room all the way to about here, and then I felt it, which is, of course, bad. And so what you got to do, is come over here where you put your brake fluid in and I don't know if you can see this or not but you got this steel line right here and you got to follow it to your slave cylinder and for Jeeps or well, for this Jeep and a couple other Jeeps we have our slave cylinder is all the way up here like of course there's transmission exhaust pipe you know front drive shaft and uh, it's right there. That's the steel line, and there's the slave cylinder in here. And what you gotta do is there's this other thing right here, this other whatever you want to call it. And there's like a little uh, uh, bolt head or whatever you want to call it right here. And it's a fourth inch. And what you gotta do is it's a two-person job. And someone has to be in the Jeep or car or whatever and pump the brakes a good amount of times. Then hold the brakes down as hard as you can. And the other person loosens that and lets fluid drip out. And it has to be a good amount of fluid and not, not like a, the whole thing, but a good amount. And then you tighten it back up. You do that a couple times. And then you should start feeling your clutch getting better. So... This is a video for anyone who is having any problems with that because I looked up videos on YouTube and it, none of them showed where the Jeep Slave Cylinder was and I looked it up on Google and started confusing. So this is a video for all the people that wanted to know where the Slave Cylinder is on a Jeep.